I've been uh, reflecting very carefully on what I remember from that incident almost 20 years ago. Uh, and again, I am, I feel, I am confident that I uh, did not act inappropriately. But part of this awakening that we're having as a society, a long-awaited uh, realization, is that it's not just uh, one side of the story that matters, that the same interactions could be experienced very differently um, from one person to the next. That was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau addressing reporters for the second time about a groping allegation from his past. Now, Prime Minister Trudeau is known for having a zero-tolerance stance when it comes to inappropriate behavior. Now some people are demanding for an independent investigation, and his comments raised a few eyebrows. Trudeau was at Queen's Park to meet with Premier Ford, but inevitably was asked about the allegations that he groped the female reporter 18 years ago. The incident is alleged to have taken place in 2000 when Trudeau was 28 at the Kokanee Summit in Creston, B.C. He first responded to the incident on Canada Day and again today saying he didn't remember any negative interactions at all that day and that the woman may have experienced their encounter differently. Often a man experiences an interaction as being benign or not inappropriate, and a woman, uh, particularly in a professional context, can experience it differently, and we have to respect that and reflect on that. I, I, I apologized uh, in the moment. He almost contradicted himself. He basically said, listen, there was no negative interaction, but I apologized at the time. You know, in a court of law, you wouldn't necessarily say that because if there was nothing negative, why did you apologize in the first place? According to John Wright, Trudeau needs to do a better job owning the situation if he wants to see it go away. And while he may not be the first leader of a Canadian political party to be under fire over allegations of sexual misconduct, he doesn't believe the outcome will be the same. The difference between someone like uh, Mr. Brown and Mr. Trudeau is that with Mr. Brown, we had an unidentified accuser. Here we have an anonymous, not even an accuser, someone who wrote about something 18 years ago. So the question then is, well, what does she have to say about this? I'm more concerned about the woman centered in this case. She has been very clear that she doesn't want to be contacted by the media back in the day and also now. And we're seeing her being hounded for a story that she doesn't want to speak to. Farah Khan says the Me Too movement is about centering the voices of the survivors and that the focus here should be respecting the women's consent and for what they've asked for. We have to respect their story and their right to decide who, if, and when they tell it. And when someone's saying, I'm not in the place to do it, that's their right to do. Now, the woman said she won't comment and she wishes to remain anonymous, something that Prime Minister Trudeau has said he respects, only saying that he's only responsible for his part of the interaction. Natish Bissono, City News.